stroke is actually one of the most devastating and fearful disorders. Psychologically, people who had a stroke often experience some kind of depression. Sometimes they may feel they are lost to the life. They are not needed, they are not appreciated. And people who had a stroke, they know how much impact it has on their lives and the lives of their loved ones. Uh, the most effective way to uh, combat stroke is to avoid it altogether. Stroke can be defined as an acute vascular injury to the brain. And there are two main types of stroke. Ischemic, due to lack of blood supply or blockage of the brain arteries. And hemorrhagic stroke, or stroke due to rupture of the brain artery when the blood gets inside the brain or around the brain. And most people do not realize how big is the problem and how real is the chance of having a stroke and dying from stroke or remain disabled. Um, unfortunately, my father died at the age of 56 um, from stroke and he was absolutely healthy person. He was an um, associate professor at the medical school at that time. He worked, uh, he had no health problems at all. All he, all he had, he had some risk factors for stroke, elevated blood pressure. That was the, and he was a little bit uh, overweight. But other than that, he had no problems. And he had a major stroke, and he died within the first three days post-stroke. The most important modifiable risk factors for stroke are elevated blood pressure, smoking, diet lacking in vegetables and fruits and rich in salt and fat, excessive body weight, especially abdominal obesity, bad cholesterol, and sedentary lifestyle. For people who have ischemic stroke, Basically, wasted time means wasted brain. And a substantial proportion of people who have a stroke do not recognize those first symptoms. It is so important. You must think fast. Face, arm, speech, and time. What our research showed so far that uh, stroke burden in New Zealand is uh, very high and compared to other developed countries we are not performing as we should. It, it, I think it comes from the uh, traditional view on stroke as unavoidable, untreatable, genetically determined disease, but it's absolutely not correct and we now have, have overwhelming evidence that it's highly preventable, it's not genetically determined, and it's highly treatable disease. Well, we do research right from uh, the acute stage right through to many years after a stroke. Used to be thought that all the recovery potential was, say, in the first three months, then six months, then 12 months. We now know that people can go on for many, many years making great advances actually if they get the right rehabilitation um, services at the right time. So our research focuses right from day one through to five to 10, 15 years after stroke. There's a huge amount of research going on at AUT into stroke, into both the causes and what to do in acute situations and also rehabilitation. 
But most importantly, they've just received $5 million from the Health Research Council to repeat the ARCA study. In 81, when it was done, it was a world uh, first, and it, was, it is, still is regarded as being the ultimate study on stroke incidents. People like Barry Fagan and Kath McPherson uh, are doing a huge amount of work in, in uh, research into stroke, and they're also getting their students excited about the fact that stroke is a worthwhile uh, research subject. And uh, all our clinical research uh, based on, on actual patients. Yeah, so we, we are talking to the patients, we interviewing them, we do measurements, we follow them up, we do some interventions. It's clinical work. We don't do lab work. Knowing that we are not performing well should motivate us at different levels to do better in stroke prevention, treatment and rehabilitation.